Hello and welcome back to Craftomation 101. In our last episode, we started a new game, trying to trying to take a look at how this game works, and figuring out uh, you know some of the quirks and the behaviors of it, uh, what what's good about it, what's uh, interesting about it, what's fun about it, all the good stuff. And then I started a second episode uh, the following day, and I got a little bit into it. And as I was unlocking some of the things here and going through the tutorials on them, I discovered a bug of some kind that locked my game up and completely froze it. Um, the only way to get out of it was to use Steam to stop the game. And then when I came back in, uh, parts of the game had completely reset back to default, back to zero. Well, other parts of the game had... Um, we're still in this state we are in right now. And it so happened that most, if not uh, what happened first of all, was everything froze back down to that initial uh, frost point near to the rocket. And the base was a rocket again. Um, I don't remember exactly what the rocket looked like at the time. But uh, beyond that, the um, all the ro robots happened to be outside of that. So they all froze. So I couldn't get at them. So what I've done in the intervening time is I've restarted and tried to do everything mostly the same as I did in the uh, in the in that episode, so that we are here at roughly the same point. There might be different amounts of different things here. There might be uh, you know whatever. There might be different things going on slightly. Um, I did make one uh, change that I thought of as I was working on this. We don't need multiple two idle uh, steps at the end. We can simply link the same. Uh, or two outputs to the same input. So we can link them both to the same two idol. Super minor, no big deal. Um, so wh what I want to do today is I want to, of course, go and find the ice that we were that we left off with, and I have a, a bonfire ready to go. I also didn't bother putting that battery in that heater because, well, we figured out that we didn't... Uh, that, that wasn't a good idea anyway. But uh, beyond that, um, we also want to try to make it through the tutorial for these things that we need to unlock, specifically functions, because functions will give us the ability to uh, create prefabricated program bits for any purpose. We can add as many inputs and outputs as we see fit to them. Afterwards, we'll be able to create functions to any program as a single node. We add functions, excuse me, as a single node, a craftomate will execute the code inside when it's re when it's revoked. I don't think revoked is the right word here. And we can rename them as well. We're going to go ahead and buy these things, actually. Functions and comparison and variables. For now, we have one more point, and we'll spend that a little bit. But for right now, we're going to just do, do those three. Um, and so I want to unpause the game, of course, and jump back in and see what we can un uncover. But I also want to follow the prompts to the first function and hopefully not get myself locked up in the same place that I did during that uh, test recording or that failed recording that I did. If I do, I have a copy of the game state saved, hopefully correctly, and I can always jump back to this point that we're at right now and recover that uh, recover that safe. So let's go ahead and let them work again. I wanna make sure we have enough uh, fuel in the fires. I do wanna put more bots in here, but I suspect also that we can use the func not the functions, but the comparison and possibly the variables to, oh crud, yes, um, push that out. This one's not working fast enough and I'm not sure exactly why it's not working fast enough, but it's not working fast enough. So it's not getting enough flame up here to this point. And I don't really know why that is. And then sometimes when you when you when the ice freezes over and then comes back, the ice stays there, and I'm not sure why that is either. But we can always rebalance these using some of the others. Um, and try to keep these all going, of course, uh, as best as we can for now until we get some better fu some better functionality for the bots so that we can um, figure out how many of them we actually need. So I just use that fire temporarily. Uh, we want to use the heater and I want to put the heater right here and I didn't notice this before but you can see the shape of the heaters uh, markings here. Maybe I put it up here further. We can see it a little bit better. The heater heats a little bit around itself but mostly uh, like hallways in the four uh, cardinal directions. So um, I want to do that there, and then we'll put a battery in there, and that'll heat that up. The box around itself, of course, as well as the uh, the little hallways, and then these you can see their heating point is a larger square, but only the square. So maybe we put that out here, and we feed it a few um, 
few flames so we can get access to those other things. Now we have another storage here on the, on the ground. Um, I don't know where I want to put that specifically. We'll put it there for right now. And we have a storage here full of batteries. Um, and am I putting these in there or are they? Yeah, you can add them in there. Okay, good. Uh, not that I want to add them all in there, but yeah. Um, I stopped the, the worker making the magnets, but I did not uh, give them another task yet. We might want them to switch over to making batteries. I don't remember exactly where we left off with that one. Oh, drop that in there. Um, but that should be okay for now, because we can then get them on making, uh, let's see, batteries is, uh, oh, we gotta, we gotta get to the next thing first. So the first thing I want them to do, and you are nobody, right? Yes, you are nobody yet. Let's put you over here for right now. Um, check the fires over here. Down here. Yeah, we could use a little bit more down there. And you, yeah. I don't know why this one's not working as fast. It's an interesting, uh, interesting thing. We want to harvest ice. And then we want to combine ice with fire. Oh, I see why it's not. It's not that it's not filling it up. It's that the, um, somebody, the, the, the one making glass is stealing from that one specifically all the time. So it's not able to keep up. So now we have water and water is the next thing we need to make to feed into here. Uh, so maybe I should change something. Although, do we really need more glass? Probably not. Maybe I should just pause the uh, glass maker here. Pause you and I'm gonna park you over here next to the uh, magnet guy. That should help matters a little. Oopsie. Let's keep these a couple more. So now we need a worker to um, to make, or to, yeah, to make ice. And so they're gonna need to get fire. And I don't want them to take the fire from here. I want them to take the fire from down here, I think. So I want you to, first of all, find and pick ice. And then I want you to move, go to a point. That point is here. And then I want you to, oh, I could just do pick from. Yeah, pick from, let's get rid of that one. Pick from uh, this tile. I guess that means you'll pick the fire. Uh, no, it needs an input for that. That's a variable? No. How do I tell you what to pick? Well, let's try it. See what happens. Uh, combine to make um, to make water, and then I want you to take that uh, and drop it right here. And then I need you to do your energy check, but we're not going to do the energy check right now. I'm going to let you run um, autonomously for now, uh, or without it for now, because we're going to try that as our function. And so execute. See if this works out correctly or not. Can I get you to pick that? Yeah, okay, you'll pick the thing that's there. Maybe I can filter it so that it only picks a certain thing, but it doesn't look like we need it. There we go. Okay. Somebody was standing there, so I didn't know what to do with it. I think I need to pause this one as well because it's consuming all of the, uh, the, the steel, making a bunch of metal plates, and I don't think we want that to keep going. Give me a couple more fires here, here. And here, now this one should be much better. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're now making water. We'll get that taken care of in a moment. Uh, and now what I wanted to actually do is, ooh, uh, yeah, I need to do that first, 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 first. Definitely gonna want to keep that fire up. Cause I'll freeze that guy out up there if we don't. Uh, what I wanna do first, first is actually pause for a moment Copy another, take another copy of that save state just to make sure that uh, before we start into that function that I don't get locked up again. So I will be right back. And welcome back. So I have copied a copy of the same save game so that hopefully that we don't uh, get stuck in this again. But uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab, who's the Iceman here, right here? Yes. We're gonna take this person and we're gonna follow the function and then user function one. And now that adds it to the uh, program here. Maybe I shouldn't have done it with this one. 
It's too late now, I think. Let's just go ahead and follow it. It's fine. And then we want to edit user function one. And we need to come over here to main. So we have an input and an output for this function. For the input, uh, first step is find and pick. And then you want to find and pick a stone. And then find and pick again. Another stone, I think. Yeah. This wanting me to do the... Um, to, to, to make the fire maker a, a program, which is actually not a bad idea. And then combine uh, and then output for that. So, oops. So that makes us have a program. So now we can come back here to the, to the bot itself. And yeah, you want to do a drop too. This is going to be weird. I shouldn't have done this. Um, and drop to there, which was where we used to have that fire. Yeah. And then go. Okay, that took this time. Okay, interesting. Uh, but I need to not use that function. And um, so remove it from you. And then we want this to go here instead. And then I want to make another function. So we're going to call this one, um, oops, we're not going to call it oops. What do you mean oops? We're going to call this one, um, make, make fire. I think it was selected, I deselected it. Make fire, okay, close that. No. Okay, uh, we can delete that from here though. And then I want to do another function. And I want to make this function uh, called, yeah, no, I guess it's not highlighting first. Okay, can I, can I highlight it? Check and eat. And so for this one, I want to do, um, uh, energy check and then that'll go to output if, if it's okay if it's not okay then I want to find and pick and then I want to find and pick a charcoal briquette eat and then output and so then later once I add this to all the robots then later I can um, I can take the um, I can take the uh, the, the charcoal briquette out and put batteries in so that they are much, much more satisfied by an eat task than they are with a charcoal briquette. But for now, uh, we want you to check and eat here and then here. Great. So what happened before is I was going through those steps and at some point along the way, nearest the end, it completely hung up on me. And I honestly don't know why it did. Um, hopefully it was just a weird, weird bug, but I... Like I said, I had to restart it, and it's not exactly something that I wanted to do, but um, it was something that I had to do. So, um, fortunately, I was able to you know recreate it pretty fast here, um, so it wasn't too big of an impact. But for now, at least, um, this is how it is. So I think uh, beyond that, we want to do some sort of um, check so that these bots that are making the fire will go and keep certain fires full if we can do this. And I don't know if we can do this or not, but they, I want to have them keep certain fires full. Oh, you're dropping in the wrong spot. That's the problem. Uh, edit this, you go there instead. And I'll put this one you, you made over here into there. Uh, so we have a few minutes until, uh, you're actually seven out of 10, so you're not too far off. We have a few minutes at least uh, that we can try to try to configure a bot to do this. Um, I want you to, you, to copy to this one over here, which is a blank one. And I want to edit that one's program so that um, instead of, well, first of all, we can take these steps all out and we can put in the um, the, the fire, the make fire uh, function here. Although I want to take a look at it because, okay, good. It, do, it doesn't tell them where to put it, it just tells them to put it. And then I want them to output the fire, but only if, um, maybe I don't have the right thing yet. I remember there was a, there was a thing. Okay, we have reached the, uh, reached the next step here. Getting new stuff. Actually, go ahead and play it until it plays through. And then we'll see what the next step is from you. Maybe there isn't one. Um, there was a thing. Maybe I don't have the thing yet. Um, either way, we can also remove all of this. This. And then we can also add in the check and eat function. 
Uh, from here to, nope, from here to there. There to there. And I guess for now I can have you drop there just so we can let the program run. That way you can keep that fire burning for the ice access. But what I want to try to do is have them check the right, check to see if the fire is correct before they, before they put, or make sure the fire doesn't have 30 or 50 or 100 uh, flames in it before they go to, uh, go to that. That way we can maybe maintain two or three fires with the same uh, person. Uh, let's put these away. Uh, looks like we've got another bot. That's good. And we have another, um, another task for charged plate. We happen to know what those take to make because we found this one the last time. So we can make some more of those, uh, which means we're going to start making magnets again, which is why I didn't deprogram that particular bot. Let's see, I'm going to park this here too. Mm. Somewhere over there. Um, so let's take a look at this first off. I could have sworn compare. Compares the objects carried by crafting with an object on the map. I don't know that that's what I want, but maybe something over here is what I want. Ooh, what I want. Not is empty necessarily. Selected tile contains stored object. If, it's, if a storage holds an object, a program will proceed via the upper exit. If it's empty, the program will follow the lower exit. That would be okay, except I don't want them to freeze. I want them to be below. Unlocks variables, unlocks compare and get position nodes for variables. This is the one that I think I want. Compare checks coordinates of two variables for equality and follows one of two paths depending on the result. Get position saves the coordinates of a tile to the left or to the right of a crafter mate to the connected variable. Um, maybe we don't even need that though. Uh, wait, where are you? Are you my. Stay, fire. Yeah, you're the one that I want here. So if we did instead... Compare? Is that what I want? Where's the objects carried by crafter mate? It forms one of two branches depending on the results of the comparison. Now that's comparing the objects carried, not the objects... Maybe I do need to unlock those other things then. Let's just do it. Uh, var logic. There we go. And now you. Two variables. Maybe you can't tell how many. Well, that's kind of weird though if you can't. What is the that input for. Hmm. Maybe I should pause again while, we, while we're monkeying with this. Hmm. Here's the objects carried by craft and made from one of two branches depending on the result of the comparison. But I don't want you to compare the objects. I want you to compare. Get left position, get right position. Okay, so that maybe that saves to a variable. And then there's variables here. Now that's saving coordinates though. I mean, you can't check the contents of a uh, bonfire other than empty or not with the other function, the other uh, ability that I didn't take yet. Okay, well, I'm going to wait on that then. Um, we're going to let this one keep making fire and then dropping it over here and checking and eating. I'm just going to have to keep doing this. Uh, so now we need to make uh, boiling water, which is fire and water. Well, that's... Uh, there we go. Boiling water. And then boiling water must be used for something. Um, not yet. Uh, so for charged plates, oh, you need to pause. Um, yeah. Ooh, battery. Put that over here out of the way. For the charged plates, we need 
the magnet guy working again who needs a place to store these so maybe we give them a storage right here are you magnet guy yes you are I want you to drop those here and uh, go and then you are who you are glass guy yeah I paused you because we had so much glass and we were stealing our fire um, so magnet guy is good um, and you are steel plate guy which we're gonna need because we need to make the charge steel plates eventually we're gonna need I guess go ahead and, and resume that work and then here we want to do a find and pick of a steel plate and a find and pick of a magnet combined and then uh, drop to right here um, functions check and eat and then to idle go now I'll go ahead and drop this one there too for that to pick up So I don't know what boiled what boiling water is used for. Does this tell me what it's used for? I also didn't look at any of these earlier. Ah, batteries. Charged steel plate plus boiling water makes a battery. Well, now we know how to make batteries. Ooh, fancy. And I didn't uh, recreate that other edible paint yet until we actually know what edible paint is used for. I wasn't gonna bother. Ten of those, okay. And then I think we'll do, we'll move you to drop them in here, the charged steel plates, instead of down here. No, that's actually fine. You can put them back down there. Good, that's nine. And now we're waiting on magnets, I guess. Yep, we're waiting on magnets. My fire ran out again. All right, so that's that. Um, instead of that, uh, you need to drop to here. And we also need to expand that fire up there too, or uh, fuel it. Hmm, I guess, so if you have any thoughts on how to make them maintain the fires, that would be uh, appreciated. I haven't, I'll, I'll give it some more thought off camera. I have a lot of flames that I would like them to be. Um, instead of it being is empty, I would like it to be is less than 10 or is whatever. Um, so that's not, yeah, that's not good enough, TM. Um, you know, maybe some of these would be useful uh, once they're available. Obviously, there's more, or there probably is more planned. But I don't know how. I don't know how to make it do what I want. Oh, my thing ran out of... And it just throws a bot in place with it. Good. Run out of juice. Two, three, four, five. Oh, and by the way, charged steel plate makes batteries. Plus water makes... Plus boiling water makes batteries. All right. So let's... I, I'm going to keep looking at this because there's got to be... I would think there would be a way... I mean, I guess... I guess the way to do it would be to... Let them go empty? 
but I don't really want to let them go empty because then the grass doesn't stay and then everything, so that's not good enough, I don't think. Let's get position. I don't know what the round outputs are, though. Find the nearest element. Variable. Okay, that's that's got the round. These have to be variable outputs. But I don't... Compare... Okay... So that stores... Oh... But still doesn't... I'm starting to get it, but it still doesn't do what I want to do, I don't think. So what would happen is, you would want to move the bot, say, to this fire, next to this fire. Get the left position and store that in a variable. And then you could use that variable in a program later. Because these are the variable connectors here. So this would store that variable. And then you could use that here, for example, to compare against another variable. But I don't really... I don't really know... How to get it to do what I want it to do. Because I don't want to compare locations, which is what this seems to do. I want to be able to compare the contents other than this one. So that must also let you bring in a variable. So let's say I wanted to say, okay, yay. So now if I said, if is, is this object here full or empty? And if it's full, which means it has one item, then do... Then skip it, for example. Don't don't put any fire fuel there. If it's empty, then I want you to add fuel to it, and then you know loop back or something like that. But again, I don't want it to know if it's got one or zero. I want it to know if it's got an amount or or zero or or not. So I don't know that that's going to work. And even comparison... Why does that have a coordinate? Oh, I wonder... No. If I... Why is it left or right, though? Hmm. Why is it left or right if it's comparing the objects carried by the robot? That's not what I want to do, though. I just accidentally clicked. Then what are you comparing the left or the right to? Well, let's um, let's just do a little thing here. Uh, let's say uh, if they're equal, drop there. If they're not equal, no. I want you to go here, not that. Drop next to it. And then... To idle. But before all that, I want you to... Pick an object... From here. And then compare the left hand to the thing in the, in the, uh... Yeah, I'm just wanting to kind of see what this does. Because I honestly don't know what it's going to do. 
So I want you to pick an object up from there. And I want you to go... Okay, you did this step. Yeah, I don't really understand what the coordinate does here then. Um, delete that program. Over here. Those flames back in the fire, please. Okay. Uh, how's it going with the things? Um, we're making charged plates now. You're waiting for a magnet. There's your magnet. And we need to start making batteries. Um, I guess with this guy we can start making batteries. You just need to... No, we need to have this guy, instead of making water, make boiling water. Which means we want another storage uh, to put the boiling water in, which means I need to do this. Or the, yeah, the boiling water. So you... Move that over there. Move that over there. Uh, after you combine those, then I want you to find and pick or pick from uh, 13, 5 again, which is this one. Yep. So that'll go there instead. I guess I could have the variable holding that uh, like this at 13, 5 and connect it to both this one and that one. That way I didn't have to set those manually and if I wanted to change which flame it was using, I could do so. Uh, oops. And then picks up that, does another combine. Here we go. And then this goes into there, and instead of that, I want you to drop there. Uh, you're gonna restart. Oh, and run, I guess, that would be good. Okay, and then this, no, we don't need that. And then, then this bot here, I want you to find and pick a, uh, well, let's do a boiling water first. And then find and pick a charged steel plate, combine those, and then do the uh, check and eat. No, you gotta drop off first. Uh, drop that. For now, right here. Wait, I did pick from. Oops. Drop two. Right here. What's your problem? Oh, you were waiting for that. Yeah. I need to have some more iron collectors too. Drop it to there, and then uh, um, do the do the check and eat, and then go idle, or go back to idle. Run that one too. I think you can be paused again for a little while. And who are you again? Glass, right. We're waiting on that one. So I definitely need more um, iron collectors. We have two of them and it's still not enough. Or yeah, uh, steel makers, I mean. And we have the magnet person making their own steel from for their own magnets and they're not enough either. Um, but although we do have quite a few charged steel plates, so it's not too bad. Oops, and I need to make this fire run again. And I could speed this along by putting some batteries here. There we have in storage. Okay. Where's battery person at? There we go. Another bot. And I want you 
um, pause for a moment. I want you to drop here instead. And now we need wood. Oh, wood. Yeah, that's going to be uh, something to figure out next. So, um... Let's figure out how to make make that. Oh, we can also create wire now. Again, I didn't create wire before, or in this save before. So let's figure out where we how we create wood. Uh, we'll have to take a look around and see where that is. I'm guessing it has something to do with these seeds. Although the seeds also need wood to make. But on the other hand, maybe the seeds are free to get you to grow the tree or whatever it is to get the wood to then be able to get more seeds. So um, we'll have to... We'll have to give that a try, but I think we'll start with uh, we'll start with creating this wire, and then we'll go from there in the next episode. Um, hopefully, this kind of uh, runs a little bit uh, more smoothly here um, as as we continue. I don't have the same type of issue that I had at in in the previous attempt at episode two, but uh, overall, I'm finding this game fun, a little bit challenging. Um, hopefully, there's some more things they're intending to add with respect to the programming, especially as I'm talking about with the uh, with keeping the bonfires fueled. That is something that I would like, but I would like it to not be an is empty check. I would like it to be a is, uh, you know, is below X check. Similar to how the eat step is, um, is, is, is below, uh, uh, sorry, the energy check is below 10%. That seems to be, you know, that if that can work, then, you know, maybe, um, maybe we can do some sort of check like that with bonfires and for that matter, heaters too. But we'll see in the next episode how this will work for the next, uh, components. So thank you all for joining me and I will see you then. Bye for now.